Hi, this is Steve's Card Flip, and my son has a guitar's covers playlist, and I also have Steve's poems. Um, this reading is for up to 10 days after you see it, so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So, yeah, I'm just going to start now, shuffle the cards. This is for everybody. At any time you see it, it's valid. So, I'm just going to shuffle and see what comes up. This is for everybody. Asking God and the animals what position they have for everybody. So, the next 10 days. And we got surrender now. So, I ain't tugged it up a bit. So, I hold that up. Surrender now wants you to surrender. Obviously, you've probably been going too hard at something and it's not quite working out. You're putting all the effort in, but you're putting in too much effort. So it just sort of wants you to take a step back and surrender and just let things sort of go with the flow a bit more because it's not that you're not putting in the work. Things just need to go of their own accord. In this case, this is a time to step back, take the brakes off a little and just let things you know, go of their own accord for a little bit. So I'm moving on to the next card for the next 10 days for when we see it. I'm just shuffling these, ask God and the animals what message do they have for everybody for the next 10 days. Okay. I'll hold this up. This is the spider spirit and it's make your dreams real. Well, spider spirit obviously says that you are a creator because spiders are creative when they create their webs so like the spider you are creative and it wants you to make your dreams real this may mean that you do work it may mean that you get rejections from people it may mean that you stumble upon hard times but in the end if you persevere you will create your dreams and you'll create something that's real it may take time it may take work it may take effort but it wants you to get into that creation project over the next 10 days and if you haven't started well now might be a good time to start that so i'm going to angel cards now so just gonna make sure i pick them all up just can't pick them with the table so this is for the next 10 days what message do the angels have for everybody for the next 10 days after they see this or up to 10 days after they see this okay and I've got Zana. Okay, so I'll hold that up so you can see that. I don't know the meaning of this card, it comes to pull up. Okay, so I'm just putting my glasses on. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Um, this card came up in my last reading, so it comes up a lot. So the message that the angels want to give you is that you are protected at the moment. Your house, your car, your friends, your family, everything's protected. It just wants you to relax and feel safe and to just smile and just enjoy your life because everything is safe, everything is fine. It just wants you to relax and just enjoy your life at the moment and just be grateful for everything that's around you. So I'm moving on to my next card. These are I Ching cards. So I'm just shuffling these. This message for everybody for up the next 10 days. What message you have for everybody up to the next 10 days? And I'll have to read this. Okay, I don't know what this says, but I'll hold the card up first and then I'll read it. If you can see that, that's good. So I can put the glasses on now. Hopefully, I can read this. Okay, abundance, thunder over fire. Live for the present and make the most of this time of abundance and influence to achieve great gains. Okay. So over the next 10 days, there are great gains and abundance to be had for you. So like I said, for those of you who've been thinking about starting to work towards goals and making plans and stuff like that, now is a good time to do that because it's saying that there are great gains and abundance for you. So, you know, start working towards something. Abundance may naturally be coming to you anyway, but sometimes when you work towards something, you help draw it to you. And have an abundance mindset. Just be open to 
abundance coming to you so you can let it into your life in all its forms. So moving on to my next card. These are cards of surrender. So these are things to let go of. So starting in the end of the reading in a nicer way. So ask God and the angels what does everybody need to surrender. This is for up to the next 10 days. Whenever you see it. Card is to surrender. I'll take this stuff. It's to surrender your addictions. So I'm gonna read that. Whether your addictions are substances, people, food, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal these addictions and replace them with healthier alternatives. So we all have addictions in our life and, you know, it is part of us, unfortunately. Nobody is free of addictions. This is just telling you to make choices to make healthier decisions for yourself and your body and your life so you can live a healthier life. I'm not saying what addictions are good and what addictions are bad and stuff like that. That's really up for you to work that out for yourself. But if something isn't working in your life and it's causing you grief and emotional distress, maybe it's time to look at letting it go or looking at a different way to solve the problem because um, addictions can really take over and sometimes what doesn't seem like an addiction can be more of a problem than what we originally thought. So this is going to be my last card. This is for up to 10 days for everybody. What does everybody need to surrender? Asking God and the angels, what does everybody need to surrender? Who have I got? Okay. This is surrender to setting limits. Okay, I'm just going to put my glasses on to this one. It's healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your need to remember that no is a complete sentence. Okay, so when this talks about relationships, this doesn't necessarily mean your, your other half. I'm just moving these over for a bit. It means relationships in general. And some people have a hard time saying no to other people, but sometimes that's something that we need to do. We need to set these boundaries in order to look after ourselves so we can look after ourselves so we can then help other people. So, um, yeah. You need to set limits at the moment over the next 10 days and this is saying that this is a necessary thing to do and this will also benefit you as well as the people around you because when you set boundaries people tend to have more respect for you than when you don't set boundaries and have limits on things and if you don't set limits people just think that they can keep coming to you and asking for things so you know the setting limits sometimes is actually a benefit for everybody so that is my last card this is Steve's card flip Sending much love and light to everybody. I'll just move my cards to tidy them up a bit. And then until next time, I will catch you all later. Bye.